everyone, it's Morgan from For Love of Paper and I am here with my first project using the August Ketoholics kits and I'm creating a 3D card for a wedding I'm going to next weekend and it's a little bit different so I thought I'd walk you through the process of how I made it to start with. I did actually follow a tutorial on YouTube, I'll link to it below. But this is what you need to start with, two pieces of 7x7 seven seven cardstock, two pieces at five by seven inches and one at 12 by seven and a half inches that was up on the screen. Uh, then the smaller two pieces you need to score at half an inch all the way along and then do the same for the uh, seven by seven inch pieces. So just half inch increments. If you've got a scoreboard, it's a lot easier. And then you need to score at, I think it was five and a quarter. Oops, I didn't write that one down. I'll make a note of it um, below to make your, um, oh, what is it? Can't think of the word. It's going to kind of be like a little bit of a book. So that's going to be your spine of your book. And then with the pieces that you've scored, you need to um, do a concertina fold on all four of those pieces and they're going to be like look like the pages of your book uh, then as you can see I'm doing this it's a little bit tricky you've got to try and sandwich all the little um, concertina bits together so sort of wedge them together triangle to triangle to make a corner and then I used some high-tech adhesive tape um, can't remember, score tape I think it's called and taped down the corners so you do the longer piece or the seven inch piece down one side and then the smaller five inch pieces pieces at each end and then another uh, seven inch piece to make the the rectangle and it should hopefully look like this in the end um, as I said, I will link to the tutorial I followed um, below. So she goes a little bit slower than I did for this one because it wasn't meant to be about me <laughs> creating this. Uh, now I'm going to adhere the, um, I don't know really what you'd call this. It's kind of a bit like a box frame, I suppose. Adhere the frame to my, um, uh, my cover. So again, I'm using the um, the high tech adhesive tape because I don't want it to come apart. That's usually the tape, the red score tape. It is. I keep forgetting. I think it is it. I can't remember. Um, but it sticks a lot stronger than the normal um, tape adhesive that I use. So now you could leave it with your. Um, like as is, or you could tape the, or glue in my case, um, the, oh my God, the spine to the, um, the frame. So I just used some of this glue that I had on hand. I don't actually remember what it is. And I just applied that all over my, my frame and then attached the spine to it and gave it a bit of a bit of a rub down with my bone folder to make sure it had stuck nicely and that's pretty much the frame or the of your um, card shadow box done uh, now it's time to decorate which is super fun so I really liked this uh, this month's connect collection how was it called wild something wild I can't remember um, but it's nice and tropical and fun and even though it's winter here um, it's nice to do something a little bit summery and a bit holiday-ish I suppose um, so I found this piece to be the best for my background in hindsight I actually wished I'd used this piece the, the other side of it but never mind so I made that my background and I just sort of shove it in because you've done the concertina folds it gives you kind of little um what, I don't know what to call it like little different levels different layers to um adhere 
things too so you can have that shadow box 3d effect so I kind of wanted to make it look like a little bit of a, a rainforest happening in here I pulled out all the pieces that I thought I was going to use uh, that bird piece I decided I'm going to use the chipboard instead of the tag so I've got three of the paper flowers these two big uh, leaf die cut pieces the butterfly what else do I add in there a few more things and I just sort of chuck them in there um, roughly how I thought I would want them to look so just going through this piece here says all the heart eyes now it is a wedding card so I thought that was kind of appropriate um, on that side of the the card I'll write my my message to them but I thought that tag filled up the space nicely and it matches the background um, of the right hand side now I do peel the sticky part off a couple of these chipboard pieces because I didn't know exactly where they were going to sit and also like this pot plant one most of it isn't stuck to anything it's only a couple of the edges so otherwise the stickiness would just be sort of exposed and I didn't want you know dust and dirt and everything to get stuck to it um, I fussy cut out that gold butterfly and then I fussy cut out these um, flower leaf pieces from one of the other pattern papers that is a little bit tedious but not too bad and I'm going to use those um, as layers now for the flowers I didn't want them to be white because there's not a lot of white um, in my actual embellishments the book itself is white and I didn't really want too much more it's just too stark against the darker colors that I'm using so I decided to get out the paints from the mixed media kit and I used the light pink uh, with a bit of water in a spray bottle and I think I put it wasn't very much it was a couple of little scoopfuls of paint and there was only oh, I don't know like a centimeter of water in this little bottle there wasn't very much so I sprayed three of the flowers with the light pink and then I decided that I wanted a little bit of contrast so I added in a bit of the dark pink paint um, I think I add a little bit more in yeah I do couple of little squirts of the the darker pink I think it was bubble gum and then sprayed that not all over the flowers just in a couple of little patches so there was some variation in, of, of color in those and then I dried them up with my heat gun so um, I could use them straight away now I am building up all the layers of my card so starting at the bottom with pretty much the biggest things um, I did at the bottom and worked my way up uh, this butterfly I wanted um, I didn't want right down at the bottom I wanted it to sit up a bit higher but because it was a bigger element um, it wouldn't I didn't want it just float I knew it wouldn't stay floating there and there wasn't much to attach it to so I ended up using three pieces of foam tape wedged together um, to pop that up so it was nice and tall um, like everything else will be and then that's a little gold heart oh that was one of the chipboard pieces then my fussy cut flowers and I put this on foam tape as well because the first layer was too high but there was no space on the bottom part because I've already glued that down so I just used one layer of foam tape for this one I know I've mentioned it before but I need a thicker foam tape <laughs> then, they, then someone needs to make one so I don't have to keep making like three or four layers <laughs> of foam tape and sorry my head gets in the way a lot in this video because it was quite fiddly and intricate and I wanted to make sure everything was sort of getting stuck down where it should be uh, this card took me over an hour to make so it was not a quick project um, you can see this video goes for I think 
17 minutes so it's quite a long one most of my videos don't go that long but I couldn't fast forward it anymore and there wasn't really much more I could chop out <laughs> so I've um, made it as short as I possibly could uh, because it was such a long process um, I did have the kids with me and my husband was trying desperately to make dinner but um, I did have to go and assist him a couple of times so that did all add <laughs> to the time but it, wa it wasn't a quick project. It was lots of fun though. So I glued the flowers into that bottom corner and then I ended up putting that big leaf on a piece of foam tape as well. I only did one little square up the top and then this little butterfly, I do put him back in but I add a few other elements before I put him in. Um, that pot plant has gold on the bottom so because I put the gold heart up the top next to the butterfly I wanted to bring that down the bottom as well. So this one only gets attached by a little bit of glue um, on this bottom piece and that's all that's holding it up. And then do I, yeah, pop the butterfly in there. So bringing that gold through again. And what's next? Oh, my little bird. Now he goes probably about halfway up uh, in the layers. And again, he is only glued down by two little teeny tiny pieces. So I'm hoping it... Um, it stays there otherwise I might have to put some foam tape or something underneath him as well but he's quite high up high up I'd have to use a lot of tape <laughs> that fern does not make it it's just too big oh and then I loved these words these words were perfect for um like a wedding thing so I do love in the middle of here and then I use a couple more of them on my front cover as well what else do I add in here I think I add in oh yeah one more little flower leaf piece that I cut out of the pattern paper and I think I call that done oh no um this trim I never know what to use this trim for we got some silver one uh, so one a couple of kits ago or the last kit I can't no yeah it was a couple of kits ago and I just couldn't use it I didn't know what to do with it um I really should you know google some images of how other people have used it and um copy their ideas but on this particular one the gold worked really well and I just trimmed a couple of pieces down and um stuck them up in that top corner kind of like a little bit of I suppose you'd probably put bunting like that but the bunting on the chipboard piece was just way too big so these little pearly bead things work really nicely and they just finish it off and also it's a little bit more gold um, across the page more well, page layout spread card <laughs> I don't know what to call it now because there's quite a lot um, to it to be just a card and then I glue that down in there as well now moving on to the front cover and I had this is the the piece that I'd fussy cut the others out of um, so I trimmed that down to fit on the front I, I think I'd walked away from the camera and then I forgot to turn it back on for a minute uh, this number piece yeah I did that off camera as well uh, they're actually getting married on the 18th and that little strip that I've flipped over I had 17, 18, 19. So I got one of my stamps just out of my stash and did a uh, stamp circle around the 18. So that was just perfect that those were the numbers on that um, piece of paper. Quite often I struggle with things that have got numbers on them because they just, they don't work with whatever I'm doing. But in this case, it was absolutely perfect. And attach that to a tag to make a little cluster on the front. And so I sort of tried to make this a little bit like a Polaroid with the background and then that pink uh, yellow chevron piece in the middle. And then I used some more of those acrylic pieces, the forever there, and I also used the and in the middle as well. 
in the little bow because I thought, you know, they're tying the knot. It's a little bow tie. Um, I was trying to make it all fit together. It works in my head. <laughs> hopefully, um, I, hopefully they like it and, and um, can see what I've tried to, to do. It's my cousin's wedding, so I'm sure he'll he'll get it. <laughs> uh, then I decided to add a little heart on the front because I hadn't really done too many hearts. I'd only really done one on the inside, so I thought it needed another one. And I think that finishes that little cluster off just nicely. So I pulled out these alpha stickers from my stash and just put AUG. So it was 18th or 18 August um, on the front there. I don't know. I don't actually like that. Now I look back at it, I'm like, eh, maybe I won't do that. I might peel those. <laughs> those letters off so I'm not not a fan but maybe they're just the wrong style I don't know but I think I might take them off and what else do I add on here oh I trimmed down this I just did some one centimeter um, strips of this paper and made a border around my frame um, the white was just too, too white. <laughs> so, yeah, I just um, trimmed down. I think I did two strips of one centimeter each, and um, yeah, stuck these pieces of pattern paper on there just to finish it off. I don't know. It just didn't. It lo didn't look right. It didn't look finished I guess I don't know if the pink helps or not yeah I think it does it definitely makes it look finished and then I popped the and from the acrylic piece and then I got some more alpha stickers from my stash and I spell out their names and that is this project done guys don't forget to go and check out Ketaholics kits there'll be a link below and i will catch you next time